Okay, Patriots, I'm uh, in my home studio, but I'll be back in the actual studio tomorrow. Uh, great shows coming up, including uh, the, uh, what's his name, Pickle Pete, the sodomite from South Bend, uh, and the new allegations against him of sexual harassment, things like that. I will break that down. also got the Muslim Mengele's. You won't believe this story about these uh, doctors that went and fought for ISIS and the things that they did. I've got that story coming out. I've got some more deep state information coming out. So I got a lot of stuff coming out this week. But first, I wanted to cover this one. This is very interesting. We all know that AOC is a Twitter twit, is a dim wit, uh, and certainly not the sharpest tool in the shed. She doesn't really know much about the issues. She doesn't know much about geopolitical issues, things like that. She's an embarrassment, as far as I'm concerned, to America, to the Democratic Party, and quite frankly, even to herself. She's lied on several occasions. I think we know that. Uh, she's threatened individuals with subpoenas, uh, saying that she's the boss and it's her way or the highway. Uh, and she's defended the indefensible in many situations. She's also a prop. She's a puppet. She's a mouthpiece for George Soros. And of course, she was founded by the Justice Democrats. I'm sure you all remember the story that I did on the five freshman Democrats. Uh, but she's also a fraud, okay? And not only is she being investigated right now by the Federal Elections Commission for campaign violations, I've covered that in the past, she's got a new one on her case that I think should be investigated. Her most recent scam happened this Saturday when she hosted the AOC Fun Run to support her Green New Deal. The 5K run that took place in Queens, New York, was sponsored by the Congresswoman herself and she even spoke right before the event, saying, quote, together we run for our health. We run for the health of our planet, and we run to fight for the Green New Deal together, end quote. She then told the enthusiastic crowd this as they were yelling and screaming and cheering her on right before the starting whistle. But apparently this wasn't the Green New Deal that AOC had in mind. No, she had something a lot different in mind. 400 people or so were involved in this race, including children, by the way. And in order to get into this race, you had a $30 registration fee, okay? Now, the participants thought that this, quote, fun run was for the environment. It was for causes that would go towards eventually passing her disastrous Green New Deal. What they didn't know is that this wasn't exactly the Green New Deal they signed up for. So, apparently, the $30, quote, registration fees were not going towards any kind of Green New Deal fund. They were actually going to AOC's personal campaign re-election fund. The fine print on the registration forms revealed on her website say, quote, Registration fees for this event are contributions to AOC for Congress. That is what the legal disclosure says on AOC5K, the number 5K.com. Now, later, when asked about this, AOC spokesperson Corbin Trent confirmed that, yes, this was a campaign fundraiser. In total, about $11,000 was raised for this campaign. Not too shabby for a fundraiser masquerading as a 5K run. Even kids, that's right, even kids as young as three years old became unwilling and unknowing first-time political donors. Why? Well, because they had to pony up $20 for their registration fees to participate in the Little Tykes Fun Run 1K. Now, 
by misrepresenting this event uh, as not just a run for the Green New Deal or for the environment, but as a run for a campaign event, AOC may have made hundreds of her supporters unwilling and unknowingly violate federal election laws, although not intentionally. Parents, for example, are not allowed to donate to campaigns in their children's name. The Federal Elections Commission should investigate this and see if there was any laws that were broken. Chances are, and knowing who AOC is and how she operates, there probably were. So if you would like to take this information and run with it, feel free to contact the Federal Elections Commission at 1-800-424-9530. Again, 800-424-9530. You can call them. You can file an FEC complaint and say that you would like to know why AOC decided to do a 5K marathon run and lie to the people and the participants and tell them it was for the Green New Deal, but it was really for her own Green New Deal and actually was a fundraiser for her campaign. If you live in New York State, and actually even if you don't, I believe you still can do this, you can contact the New York State Board of Elections at 518-474-6220. Again, 518-474-6220. It is reports like this that have kept this channel from being monetized. Uh, I do a lot of investigative work. I cover things the rest of the media ignores. And for that, again, the channel is not monetized. I'm sure the folks that watch this know that. So please, Go to patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein and please put five, ten bucks a month uh, on Patreon for me. That's the only way that I can really monetize my efforts here on YouTube. Um, and again, like I said before, it's not an expenditure. It's an investment. It's an investment in more shows like this one and many, 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 many more to come. I mean, I've got so many things in the hopper. I've got so many contacts in Washington. I've got so many contacts around the country. I have so many contacts with, you know, people that have the knowledge and the know-how and the information. And I cover it in my own unique way. And I give you all the facts and all the information. Therefore, you are all educated and you can help open up hearts and minds out there because that's what we've got to do. So again, patreon.com forward slash Josh Bernstein, five, 10 bucks a month, whatever you can do, I would greatly appreciate it. What are your thoughts? Please put it down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next report.